Yo, what is up, everybody? Jumping here, and I am back with my Chalice Dungeon run for Bloodborne. I am on the final dungeon, and once this is done, this series will be over. Now, I know a lot of people have been wondering, hey, Jumpin, what the heck, man? Where you been at? I haven't uploaded in like two, three days. What's going on? Well, I've actually been really busy with my real life. And you guys should know I don't really talk about my personal life too much, but every once in a while, I'll bring up stuff just to fill you in. And I don't mind. It's not anything like that and this is really odd looking okay let me go ahead and deal with this I hate talking about stuff like this in the middle of a live commentary because I can get distracted so easily come on bro I need you to swing gotcha naha naha okay let me finish this guy off you did whoa no you're not holy shit now you did. Alright, and let me loot that body. Blood vials. Anyway, right now, I've been extremely busy because I've been going through a lot of paperwork and having a lot of things made. And I have submitted it all because I'm going through the K-1 visa process. If you guys don't know what that is, that is a fiancé visa process. You guys might remember... In April 2015, I went to Russia because I've had a girlfriend in Russia for actually three and a half years. I've been talking to this girl over the internet, and I finally decided I wanted to meet her in real life. And I went there, I met her, and everything was great. And I decided, you know, hey, I want to do this K-1 visa process so that she can come over here. And then we have 90 days, basically, at that point, once she's here to decide if we actually want to get married or not, but we do, so more than likely I will marry this girl. Her name's Lisa, by the way, if you guys don't know. And if you guys want to see any pictures of her, or if you want to see pictures of my trip, I do have them on my Jumpin' Productions Facebook page, so the link to that is in the description if you guys haven't seen that yet. Just go on there and you can find some pictures of me and her together in Russia and just other things. But uh, yeah, so that's what I've been doing for the last three days. I've been really busy. Basically having everything printed out, made, all the, you know, history and evidence that we met in real life, that we've been talking for all these years and stuff. I'm getting my ass kicked by this dog. And yeah, this has been a pretty exciting time right now, so that's where I've been at. It's actually, I didn't expect it to be so costly though. That's one of the big things, you know, is that it actually... I knew that it was going to cost some money to do all this, but I didn't expect it to be as expensive as it turned out to be, but, you know, hey, it's whatever. Now, the next the next step of this is, since I've already submitted everything, I mailed it, I have to wait some time. Oh my god, I'm getting surrounded by crap. Oh, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Die. I have to wait some time. It's going to take about three months to a year. Basically, it just depends. But it's going to take some time for them to process all the paperwork and go over it, make sure everything is legit. And then once they do, they will either deny me or they will accept me. And then she has to go to an interview in Russia to the U.S. Embassy. And I think that's in Moscow. So after that process, it doesn't take that long. It might take like two weeks if everything goes well. She'll get her visa. She'll come here and we'll be together. So that is what's going on if you guys have been wondering anyway that's enough about that for now if you guys have any questions though go ahead and ask I have no problems with that and then maybe in my next episode or a couple episodes from now I will respond to some of those questions in fact I've been thinking about doing another Q&A video and it's been a while and people they constantly request that they really enjoy my Q&A videos because they are pretty entertaining I think and I try to make them fun and I really don't have a problem answering questions. It's just one of those things where I try not to go on and on about my daily life and stuff. I like to focus more on gameplay stuff. But um, I'm always open to talk about it if you guys are wondering. So if you have any questions, go ahead and ask me questions. I'll probably answer them in just normal videos. But sometime in the near future, I'll do another Q&A. So if you want to ask more questions there go ahead so that's basically what's up anyway let me go ahead and try to figure out what the heck I'm doing right now this room looks like there's nothing in here 
it's been a really, really long time since I've actually ran through this particular dungeon. So I don't really remember it all that much. This is layer one, so basically I have to do the whole damn thing. But that's fine. It should be not that difficult just because I have all my health. I don't have any of these curse effects on. But this dungeon is definitely really unique. I can tell you that right now because I haven't really seen this layout before. And I've seen basically every layout. Gotta watch out for these traps. Oh man. Yo, check that out. That's crazy. I think there is one of these weird ghost enemies in here. I haven't really seen these things throughout this playthrough. Normally when you run through the dungeons, you do see these every once in a while. But maybe I was mistaken because I don't see it now. But I could swear I thought I'd seen it try to grab me. A lot of times they're invisible and they pop up, they'll grab you and try to murder you and stuff. Alright. Hmm. I'm just glad, by the way, that this whole thing is done. This uh, process for this K-1 petition. Because that's what it is. It's originally, I have to file a petition to the U.S. government. And then they review all my evidence, all my documents. And all her stuff, too. Because she has to submit a whole bunch of stuff, too. But I have to submit it for her. And uh, once they review it, then they make the decision. But with the amount of work I put into this, I mean, oh my god. I did a really good job, I thought. I sent them a binder. It was a... Uh, it was basically a book and it was really really well done so I personally think there's a, like a 95% chance maybe even a 99% chance that they're going to accept it and they will approve me but yeah of course there's a lot of stress that goes into this I haven't played any games at all I haven't done any recordings I was just basically focusing on getting everything done okay so I found the lever thank god fuck you Ugh. Wow, I thought I got him. Man, I am missing this so bad. There we go. And you're on the steps. You fucking fat bastard. And I hate when that happens. I really freaking do. Yeah. Okay. Use my healing item. Ooh, not bad. Not bad at all. Go ahead and use this. Now, I definitely need to look around this layer one just to see if there is anything I missed because I would swear that I probably did miss some stuff. Okay, so that's the main room down there. I believe on this second floor here, there was only that one door. See, to me, this looks like a freaking fake door. Look at this. There's notes here, too. Okay, I see nothing but liars here. Reeks of liar. Yeah, I agree because it, to me, looks like there is a fake wall there, but I don't think so. Let me come over here. I think there was something over here I might have missed. Did I come in here? See, I don't remember. I have this, like, really bad short-term memory when it comes to these dungeons. I really do want this series to hurry up and end, though, because I do really want to start my other series. I don't want to start it, though, until this is over. It's just the way it is, you know? But uh, in terms of Fallout 4... I think I'm kind of done with that game. I still actually have videos that I could release for that. I know a lot of people do want me to go back to my playthrough, so I apologize that I stopped that playthrough. I actually have like six or seven more parts of that playthrough I could upload that were already done. Plus, I do have extra tutorial videos, but at this point, I look at some of these tutorial videos and I'm like, Shit, everybody knows about this shit at this point. Like, why would I even release this? It doesn't even make... A difference you know oh god rats son of a bitch die but uh yeah i think i'm done with the fallout i'm gonna focus on bloodborne for a while maybe i'll do some dark souls 2 stuff sometime in the near future and then of course dark souls 3 is coming out in april but that is quite a while from now oh yeah of course there is something i want to talk about but i really kind of didn't want to talk about it because i'm afraid i'm so scared I'm so scared about this. Star Wars came out, and believe it or not, I am a pretty big Star Wars fan. I kind of fell out of it because, see, when I was a kid, I think I was about 10 years old, I watched the original trilogy, freaking loved it, loved it, and nobody actually, like, recommended it to me. I don't know what it was. I just randomly seen it one day, 
at the video store and I was like, I'm gonna watch this. I didn't even know what it was when I rented it from the video store. That's how crazy it was. But I rented it, I watched it, and I loved it. And I got my sister really into it as well when we were kids. She actually became a way bigger nerd than me where she was always, oh God, she was like on the message boards pretending that she was Leia and stuff like that. And uh, she had a huge crush on Mark Hamill, which was weird. You know, you got this like 13 year old girl or 12 year old girl or whatever who has this huge crush on this like really old ass man. But my sister's funny like that. She she like falls in love with like guys in movies like the characters like she you know really had a huge crush on Luke Skywalker not next not really Mark Hamill you know the actor it was more or less just Luke Skywalker from back in the 70s or 77 when he did the original Star Wars movie which I guess is understandable because you know he was a young guy back then and uh, she did the same thing with other dudes too, where it's these old ass men now, but you watch like movies back in the day from like the 70s or 80s or something, and they were young back then, and you know, that's just the way it is. But point being that I'm gonna go see this movie, but I'm gonna wait until Christmas Eve to see it because I wanna go and see it with my sister, and I'm not gonna be able to hang out with her until Christmas Eve, you know? So that's the plan. Unfortunately, during all this time waiting to go see this movie, there's always that chance that I might see spoilers somehow, and I'm trying to avoid the internet because of that. So in fact, I'm probably not even going to read the comments. I really don't want to. Now that I'm bringing this up, I'm just afraid that people are going to troll me and start ruining the movie in the comments. If I'm looking through the comments to try to answer some of these questions about this whole fiancé visa stuff, I might stumble upon people... See, that was a huge mistake. I should have never talked about Star Wars. I knew that was a bad idea because now people are going to probably try to troll me. But the point is, is that, listen, guys, please don't spoil the fucking movie for me. I, I would really appreciate that. It's going to be hard enough to not have it spoiled by other stuff. But uh, so far, from what I've seen, um, just like people saying and Rotten Tomatoes and stuff like that, the movie is really good people are enjoying it i think it got a 95 percent on rotten tomatoes which is actually really crazy i did not expect it to be that high and um most people who are doing spoiler free reviews of the movie I, that's the second time that's happened but most people who are doing spoiler free versions of the movie are just saying that you know hey this is really good it's it's a lot like the original trilogy in fact a lot of people are saying that Empire Strikes Back is still considered to probably be the best movie. Most fans really love Empire Strikes Back, including myself. That's my favorite Star Wars movie. I also really like A New Hope. Oh, God. Son of a bitch. Not one of these assholes. I like A New Hope a lot. Return of the Jedi, I like the movie a lot, too, but not as much. So I've heard people say that it's definitely better than Return of the Jedi and all the prequels. And... It's almost as good as Empire. That's what I've heard. You know, people still like Empire more, but they say that this one is really close. So that is really insane if that is the case. Ooh, you bastard. Wow. I really kicked that guy's ass. Holy crap. All right, let me keep moving and see what I can find here. Wow, this is a really huge bonus area. And it always blows my mind when this happens, where you do a bonus area to start one layer, and then you do the layer, and then you do the bonus area for the... or the second bonus area for that layer. And then you get to the boss, and it's like, wow, that took like 30 freaking minutes. Like, what the heck? One layer? 30 freaking minutes? That's insanity. Oh, maybe not. I'm only at 15 minutes right now. See, I'm tripping. I was thinking maybe I was at like 20 minutes. Okay, I think I'm done. I don't think I'm going to find anything else. So let me just get the heck out of here. Look how big this area is, though. Holy crap. Okay, I guess I'll go down this way. I think this is the way I came in. I'm still not sure. Yeah, no, this is definitely the way I came in. Let's go challenge this first boss and see what it is. Remember, this is a fixed dungeon so this boss will always be the same ah shut of a bitch not this guy oh i hate this guy all right let's go oh yeah i hate this guy with that stupid throwing attack it's so annoying uh-huh 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 you bastard come on 
Okay. Fucking hell. That looks like it would be easy to gun parry right there. Oh, God. See, I hate it when he does that. Yeah, that's the easiest one right there, though. When he runs at you. Oh, yeah. I'm going to kick this guy's ass. Come on, bro. Run attack, maybe? Gotcha. Nice. Run out of bullets, though. So that's not good. Can I stagger this fool? Oh, fuck me. Yeah, I'm going to run out of bullets. Nice. I'm getting those parries really, really good right now, but still. All right, go ham. Go ham. I fucked your ass up. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Dude, I can't see. This is... Ah, I couldn't see. Once again, motherfucking camera angle screwed me. Ah, fucking hell. Alright, let me go recover real quick. Leave me alone, bro. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Let me grab this, thank you. Alright, bring it on. Let's do this. Ah, uh -huh, no, no, no. Actually, let me buff. Alright, come on. No, I missed. Just one little second later, I would've got him. Ah, uh -huh, God, you go ham, bro. Why do you always stop swinging when I want to shoot you? There you go, finally. Alright. That should be pretty easy. Wait, wait, wait. I take that back. This should be really, really hard. And I'm gonna die a thousand times. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, you bastard. Come on, come on. No! Come on. Swing. Oh my god. I'm messing that up. Fuck! Ah, go ham! Go ham! Stop it! Oh, now I gotta deal with this shit. Come on. I know you wanna go ham. There you go. No, oh, no, no, no. Back up. The music's actually really good. The music in this game is so freaking good, man. It's one of those deals where I don't really keep the music up that loud. I'm glad I turned it up. Because it doesn't really affect much. And you guys probably like it. I'm always afraid, though, of, like, the copyright crap now with YouTube, where it detects, like, all this game music. Uh-huh. So, generally, I think it's a good idea. Holy shit, he's on my ass. To turn down music in games, because you don't want that. Alright. Oh, God, that was stupid. Come on, man. All I gotta do, all I gotta do is gun parry you one more time. Oh, God! This camera angle is awful! <laughs> Oh my god, that's my new thing. Oh my god, my new excuse for being a scrub is the goddamn camera angle. It scrolls me so bad. Alright, well, let's try this again. Huh, it's like, dude, I'm getting him down to like nothing. All I gotta do is get one more gun parry or just go ham on him and I can finish him off. But I suck! And I choke. I'm a choker. Alright. One gun parry. It's only going to take like five to kill him. Oh, bastard. No. Ah, just fucking die. Oh, you son of a bitch. Uh, 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 why do you swing so much? I can't believe this. Holy hell. Oh my god. Give me that, you fucking bastard! You go so ham. It annoys me. Uh huh. -huh. I'm not even gonna waste any paper on you. Actually, you know what? I got nothing to spend my echoes on, so why the fuck not? Come on! Oh my god! You are annoying. I should just try going ham on him. That might fucking work a lot better than this shit. Ah, uh, I can't believe it. Like, he never does a second swing with that. Come on, swing. <laughs> oh my god, I'm, I already used nine bullets. I haven't got one berry on him. My timing is just awful. Fucking bastard. Oh my god. 
Can I get a parry? I guess not. I can't do it anymore. Freaking impossible for me to get a parry now. Oh my god. Really? I am so scrubby. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna try... There we go. See, I timed that one right. That is so easy, though. A baby could do that. And I'm fucking it up. It's crazy. Come on. Come on. Uh -huh, yeah. There we go. Oh, my God. Looks like I'm gonna need to go ham in a second here. Come on, swing. Uh, no. You're transforming. Alright. Go ham. Back the fuck up. God, I do so much damage. It's really crazy. This weapon is so good. There we go. Nice. Okay. Got no bullets, so I have no excuse. I need to just go ham. Come on, bitch. No, 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 no. Your tracking is insane. Do you ever stop swinging? I guess not, but you're dead now, you piece of shit. Fucking hell. Okay, yo, I'll take that, though. Nice. I'll take the gem and the blood chunk. Hell yeah. Oh, okay, let's keep moving. If there's a bonus area, I kind of hope there is, because I'll do the bonus area, and then I'll end the episode. Looks like there is a bonus area. Alright, let me go and light this lamp, just because I don't want to have to take that stupid elevator down if I die. Have no bullets. In fact, I think I'm going to emergency bullet, just because there's probably going to be a couple enemies I'm going to want to try to gun parry. So let me open up this, and I will move on. All right, we got a dude over here. Hello. Yeah, look at this. See? This is, the, like, now this is not unique, but at the same time, you don't see this area much. This giant lake shit. Okay, let me look around real quick. Oh, crap. I'm thinking that there might be one of those big assholes down here. A lot of times, they put them down there. They have, like, cannons and shit. Wow, look how strong this guy is. What the fuck? That didn't make sense. Okay, grab that. Hello. Rah! Die. Give me that. How you doing? God damn, this weapon, though. You know what? I'm forgetting about the L2. I need to use that. Rah! Rah! You did. Hey, how you doing? Rah! Rah! That's a nice little combo right there. Ooh, get effed up. All right. Looks like there's a lot of enemies down here. Holy crap, there is. Shit's ridiculous. Oh no 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 no. Rah! I'm gonna kill all these bastards just because no all right I do want to collect all the items too I have to watch out for that stupid throwing shit it's gonna be annoying Rah! Rah! I don't know why I keep doing that I actually mean to do the L2 but I'm pressing L1 Rah! oh no I ran out of stamina not good oh wow Nice, thank you. I appreciate that so much. Naha, naha. Okay, so yeah, I guess this is all oil down here. So if I get hit, I'm gonna really get effed up. Alright, give me that. Can't pick it up. We have a door. I'm gonna take the door. It's probably gonna lead me to the top. And the treasure room is probably up there. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. No, ah, ah. Die. Let me pick this up. Let me pick this up. Where's some bullets at, man? Come on. Give me this. You know what I'm looking for? I'm looking for one of the chalice fountains. Because if you can find those, you can actually buy any of the DLC weapons. Because I was asking that, and you guys answered the question for me. That you find one of those chalices... Well, it, no, it's not the chalices, it's the fountains. You find a fountain in one of these dungeons, you can buy all the DLC weapons, or the different versions of them, and that is really cool. That you can actually do it that way. Oh my god, there's so many bastards. Okay, they're all dead now. But yeah, that is actually really freaking cool. 
Alright, looks like we got some stuff over here. Give me that. Finally got some bullets. And I think that's everything. I need the bullets, though, for this dude. No. Such a scrub. There we go. There we go. Alright, you gonna die. Now I'm just gonna do the charge attack. I think that's always best. <laughs> you did. Alright, let's see what this is. Probably gonna be nothing, though. What is it? Ah, nice. Thank you. More? That's seven of those. And we just got a gem. Probably not gonna be very good, though. Alright, so there was another way to go here. Where was it? Let me just run over here. No, this is the way I came in, right? Yeah, this is the way I came in. So we need to go over this way now. And check this out. I'm trying to get to the top. Okay, this is gonna take me to the top. Oh, how you doing? Hello. Oh, what are you looking at, bitch? Or pointing at me. Don't point at me. Looks like we got more guys up here, too. Oh, how you doing? Rah! Why didn't you get up yet? Alright, pick that up. And I'm gonna go through this door down here first. See what's going on. This looks like a shortcut, maybe? No, not really. Finally. Wow, whoa! Where the hell did he get that from? I've never seen him do that before. Where they throw one and then they throw another one out of the other hand. It's really crazy. Die! Okay, it looks like there's nothing up here besides just this one item. Well, whatever. I'm gonna let you live, bro. Because if I hit you, you're just gonna fall off anyway. Probably won't kill you. Alright, now I want to get to the very top. And see where this is gonna take me. Okay, there is a door. Oh, oh! Die! I hate it when they fall, man. I really do. Alright, pick that up. Heal up. Alright, come on, bring it on. And let me go through the door now. Okay, there's some spiders up here? What the heck? Hello. You dead. Looks like we're cleared. Wow, man. This is crazy. So much crap in this bonus area. Ah, oh, falling from the ceiling. And we got more too. Rah! Oh my god! That was insane. Rah! Pick that up. I think a spider dropped this. And it looks like we have another item over here. Give me that. And there's a chest. And I think that's it for this area. So that's cool. What is this? Ritual blood. Yay, I always wanted that. Alright. Ooh, another spider. Die. Okay, well, I think I'm done for now. In the next episode, I'll do layer 2 and any other bonus areas. Fight the boss. I might be able to do layer 3 as well. That would be nice. But I really do hope that you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, will you please like the video for me? Be sure to subscribe. And I really do hope that everyone has a very nice day. And peace.